What's up everyone, today I'm very excited to begin Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I've heard so many great things about this series. I'm also really excited because this is the first anime I'm gonna watch on the channel. A few quick things before we start watching. Some people recommended that I watch the original Full Metal Alchemist before I watched Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, but my understanding is this is actually closer to the original manga. I'm a little bit more interested in the the creator's original vision. I think at some point the original series caught up to the, the manga and then departed story-wise, so I've been told that because of that, the series kind of tries to pack a lot into the beginning, and so I'm gonna have patience for that. I'm along for the ride. I'm gonna be as open as possible to it. I'm gonna let it take me where it wants to take me, hopefully. The other note is I was planning on watching the show dubbed, and I still am, but I've ordered the DVDs and they're not going to arrive in time, and all I have access to right now is the subtitled version with the original Japanese. So we're gonna start with that and then switch to the dub. I know that's a little bit weird, but that's just how it's gonna go down. But yeah, so that's it. Without any further talking, let's begin Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. ブラッドレイ大相当。少年とはもしかして。そう。青根の連勤実施エドワード。ダフォーメタルアルケミスト。エドワード。ああ、オープニング。イッツソーエクサイティング。ファイナルゲットアニメオープニング。やり残してること。
impactful for me in my life. When I lived in Korea, one of my good friends was half Korean and half American, born and raised in Korea. So his, he spoke fluent Korean. And every single time he would do anything, order food or like talk to anybody, the first thing out of anyone's mouth would be, wow, your Korean is so good. Because they would see him and they would see, he didn't look full Korean. Every day of this guy's life, everyone he interacted with would say, wow, you're so good at Korean. Witnessing that, I was getting frustrated for him. I would get super irritated by that, having to answer the same question again and again and again. But what's so remarkable about that is his answer every time was, thank you. He was just a super kind and patient guy. And I took so much inspiration from that. I thought like, if this guy could handle this same question again and again and again for his entire life, then I can afford to be a little more tolerant too. So this is never going to change for him. You got to work on it. Work on your own issues. Does he eat? What's the deal with him? Oh. Oh, no. That was awful. Damn, this is brutal. <laughs> yeah, so there's obviously some weird stuff going on with the war in the military. And I'm sure this guy's a villain, but probably there's an element of truth to his complaints. Damn, that mustache and that little twirl of hair. Clutch. I see we're gonna have a lot of characters, a lot of powerful characters. <laughs> That's the mistake I made in Avatar. I guess here it actually applies. It's amazing how this is only like halfway through the first episode, but I already have sort of a feeling about this villain. That like something really went wrong for him. And he might have actually been a decent guy before this, but there's something about like when you experience trauma and you finally see a way out or you see something that can redeem you, you can lose sight. And it seems like this guy has just lost sight. So he's willing to die. He's just concerned about like doing this to maybe soothe his guilty conscience or something like that. What was that? The Philosopher's Stone. <laughs> I love how he's, he's announcing what he's doing. Artistic alchemy, the most powerful of all. Nice. Artist, am I right? This is pretty epic for the first episode. I'm getting like finale vibes. I leave it to you and your capable mustache. Oh, what the heck? There's no head? What in the world? Wow. Yeah, what happened? Whoa, love this music. 
Yeah, he just uncovered his secret. Oh no. Oh no, I knew it! <laughs> this is the person he's after, right? This is it for him. Oh. <laughs> well, that was pretty gruesome. Oh, is it the Philosopher's Stone? Was that the Philosopher's Stone? Damn! Mustache powers. Who is that? It's cool that the leader, king, do they call him, is really powerful in his own right. I have a feeling he's not going to be an ally forever. The villain, who had a great story arc for just one episode, is a sign of things to come. He's the first indication that the characters and we are getting that something is wrong. And Edward seems to not really care. He has his own personal reasons for what he's doing. And I guess one of them is restoring his arm and his brother's body. <laughs> This guy, he had a rough day. Hmm. He's humble. Interesting. <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> He's a sweetheart. No, no! Oh, that's a little bit too much. I mean, fair enough. I'm more interested in his mustache and his little Tweety Bird hair. That gives me great joy. So? Human pillar. What the hell is that? Gluttony. Gluttony. What a name. A little villain preview. Femme fatale. Wow, that was quite the episode. That was such a good intro. If this is what it means to jam pack episodes, I'm fine with that. I'm totally cool. We had like a whole villain arc in that episode. We got a nice glimpse of the world that everything's not as it seems. We got hints of Edward and Al and the fact that they have sort of a tragic past and that they're looking for something. There's something that they desperately want and that's driving them and maybe even blinding them. We have the fact that Al seems super nice. We have Mustache Man and all his glorious muscles. And we have a king who seems to be a great leader on the surface. But that seems to me to be set up. Bring him up and then knock him down. Music's great, action's great. I do see why people mention this as sort of, uh, you know, its own parallel to The Last Airbender. It does seem like there is some overlap here between, like, the alchemy and bending and creative uses of elements, which is really cool. I'm pumped for the show. I can tell I'm really gonna enjoy it. It'll be weird switching to the dub, but that'll happen in a couple episodes, probably. Anyway, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys very, very soon for episode two.